Hello, hello, can you hear me? Perfect. All right, mm -hmm. I don't know what happened, but I lost the internet. Uh, so I had to connect from my cell phone. So I don't know what happened. Anyways, um, <laughs> questions teacher, are- Teacher, yes? I have a question. Ask me, Annie. Uh, when uh, we finish uh, the course, we finish. Uh, we finish tomorrow. The pause. The pause. But we finish the course the eighteenth of August, I think. Eighteenth, nineteenth. Okay. Yes. Uh, old. Old. All. All the course. All the course. Okay. Yes. Uh, if for 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 inscription uh, in in. In the new course, uh, have they sent you any information? Yes. So you mm. you should be preparing the 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 new information. Okay. Tomorrow right. is the last day to to give the yes. information. Twenty nine. Okay. okay. Thank you. So if, if human resources in your company is usually busy, I will suggest that you start asking for those documents early tomorrow morning. Right? Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. All right. Teacher. Yes, Tanya. Uh, now in the afternoon, I, I tried. I don't know if you understand me because my internet is having I hear problems. I you perfectly. But, okay, okay. Not the anymore. <laughs> platform, but uh, it has the same problem that the guy says in the WhatsApp. Okay. All right. I, let me, let me, let me read the message that I sent to administration it says um, where is it where is it because I reported that where's this guy in a second um, I asked them uh, that they, they, we have two cases of people that don't have the access to uh, to the videos. So I expect to receive an answer tomorrow morning. It was an audio that I sent. So Do ask me know. tomorrow again. Do. Yeah, two Do videos. And, okay, and, thank you. Yeah, and maybe I think George suggested that if you try uh, switching the, the browser, maybe that could help. Maybe. No, I I did that in the same problem. Okay. All right. So let me ask the, the administration, see what they respond tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? Teacher. Yes, sir. I, I tried uh, for the app uh, of English, Cor English Corporative. Uh huh. Uh, I have the same problem. Really? It's for every, when you uh, try, uh, don't work. It doesn't work, okay. Okay, let's, let's yeah. see and wait what they answer tomorrow. They need to give an answer. Okay, I thank have you. The same problem, teacher. Sylvia? I have the same problem too. All right, yeah, so I mean like when you have different people with the same problem it's it, it's not coincidence there is a problem with the video yes yes yep. all right good so ask me tomorrow during the day uh to see if i have a, an answer from them okay thank you any other questions or comments related to the course no okay do you have any questions or comments related with present perfect when do you use the present perfect? When... Carla, you're muted. Uh, teacher, um, I think uh, when I'm talking about, for example, 
and the past and the continuous for the present. Okay, that's one possibility. Yes, thank you, Carla. Someone else? Something that starts in the past and continues uh, to present. What time is it now? What time is it? 9.31. Okay, so we have been in class for 31 minutes. Yes. Let me ask you, is the class finished? No. No, it's no, it's not. So that is exactly what Carla says. An action that starts in the past and continues up to now. All right. Have you visited Guatemala before? Yes, I have. Yes, okay. I have. I have visited Guatemala three times, let's say. Are you in Guatemala in this moment? No. no. Okay. But you can return next week. You can return in December. You can return next year. So whether the action is still active or not, uh, the present perfect is used to talk about unfinished activities, activities that are not finished. So the first example, we have been in class for 31 minutes and we continue in class. So it's not finished. The second example, I have visited Guatemala three times. In this moment, I'm in El Salvador, but I'm going back next week. So it's not completely finished. So the present perfect is used to talk about unfinished activities. What is the auxiliary that we use? Have. Only have? Has. 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 Have and has. has. Have and has. What is the form of the verb? Uh, past participle. Past participle. Past participle. Remember, participle. positive, negative, or question, the form of the verb is always the same. Yes. So the simple present, sometimes you put S, you put ES. You have do, you have does. Uh, with the simple past, you have did. The verb stays in base form, sometimes in past. Um, the present perfect has less information. <laughs> it's less complicated. The only difficult part is that you need to be familiar with the past participle of the verb because the structure is easy to use. It's really easy. You use have for positive, negative, and questions. You use the past participle form of the verb for positive, negative, and questions. But the question is, how good are you doing with the past participle of the verbs? So that's the only challenge that you have. What is the past participle of eat? Eight. Eating. 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 What is the past participle of write? Writing. Uh -uh. Written. Rock. Written. 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 What is the past participle of, of get? Gotten. Listen carefully. What I will tell you right now, it's related with pronunciation. American pronunciation, if there is a T, T as in tango, plus a vowel, A-E-I-O-U, plus an N, N as in November at the end, they omit the vowel sound, and they don't say eaten, they say eaten. Mm -hmm. They don't say written, they say written. They don't say gotten, they say gotten. Right? What is el pital? What is el pital? It's a mountain. 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 Mount. What is what is the name Mount. of the soda that is similar to Seven Up and Sprite? It's green and black. Mountain. Uh -huh. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Mountain, Mountain, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Mountain. So you go to California and they says yes, and let me have two Mountain Dews. Mountain Dews. Mountain Dews. 
Mountains. Mountains. Do, do you remember your glottis here? Your glottis? You know, this 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 part here, it's it's a it's the machine. It's a machine where all the organs work together, including the glottis. So when you say eaten, written, gotten, mountain, your glottis closes. So this right here happens in American pronunciation. So if you want to sound like a gringo, you should say eaten, written, gotten, mountain. So it takes it takes practice. Now British, they say eaten, written, gotten, mountain, and it's okay, and it's fine. But I think that you have more possibilities of going to the States than going to England because of our geography, because of your family, because of your friends, your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whoever you have in the States, right? Right. Questions? We, we, which is the correct teacher, uh, the pen context? Uh, you're talking about pronunciation? Yes. Uh, it depends where you are. It depends where you are. So uh, if you go to England, you should speak like them. If you go to New York, you should speak like them. If you go to Australia, you should speak like them. But everybody has an accent, you know. So, Richard, yes, sir. Uh, what, what is the different uh, language when, when talk an uh, Australian people? Australians, they have where, British accent. Where, where do you identi identify? Identify. Identify the the sound. How how is the sound? Okay, it's it's very simple. It's like when you hear a Mexican person talking, or someone from Nicaragua. This the accent they have is very strong. Oh, he's Mexican. Oh, he's from Nicaragua. Or when you hear someone from Guatemala, he's a chapin. So it's it's a so let's say the let me give you an example. How do you say that word? Which word? Water. Water. How do you say water in British? Water. 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 They don't pronounce letter R. Water. Water. What is the next word? Doctor. Doctor. How do you say doctor in British? Doctor. 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 Excuse me, doctor. I have a stomachache. <laughs> what about this one? Teacher. How do you say teacher in British? Teacher. Teacher. Excuse me, teacher. Officer. So they don't pronounce letter R. Okay. And, and also they have... Uh, some differences in terms of pronunciation, like uh, teeter, they say teeter. Uh, instead of saying tomato, they say tomato. So there are different things. There are different aspects. All right? Teacher, yes, teacher, which uh, difference uh, in between uh, English formal uh, and informal? Well, just like in Spanish, you know, like w when you're speaking Spanish, you want to sound as formal as possible. You want to sound very professional. English is the same, you know. However, you need to be able to identify informal English. I was giving you the example the uh, last week. Alguien se baja de una costa y le dice, van poniendo. Van poniendo el qué? <laughs> what, what does that mean? Van robando. Van robando. So the message is don't get in that bus. Yes. Van poniendo. So a gringo will be, oh, they're putting, they're putting what? You know? So that, and you need to be able to understand. You need to be able to understand. What is the informal way of saying gun or pistol in El Salvador? Hombre, que la mayor andaba un gran qué? Cuete. 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 So, a gringo, it's Christmas time. Cuete. No. 
It's the informal way, you know? So even though you don't use informal language, you need to have the skill to understand what people are saying around you. Right? Slang. Slang. Anything else? Any other questions or comments? That is called slang. What is the meaning of slang, people? I think in chat. Slang. What is slang. it? Uh, caliche. Caliche. Yeah, idiomatic expressions. Yeah, idiomatic expressions too. Yeah, now like uh, uh, yeah, people say a lot of a lot of slang. People use a lot of slang, like in El Salvador. Yep. Any other questions or comments? No? Any questions about the present perfect? Okay, do you guys listen to music? Yes. Yes. What is your favorite music? What genre? In my case, romantic music. Good. Someone else? In my case, uh, pop music. Pop, good. Someone else? Pop music. Pop case. music. Ok, solo tres personas oyen música aquí, los demás. No, hombre, hombre. Teacher, I listen a, a mix. You listen to a mix? Yes, pop, salsa, rock. Cumbia, all that. Yes. Right, right. Ok, so I'm going to share a link with you. The link is like four minutes and something. They play different songs. Um, maybe you recognize some of the songs, maybe you don't. But the idea is, imagine, if, you, if, you, if romantic music is your favorite, you go to YouTube and you write, uh, present perfect in romantic music, boom, you will find menus. Uh, present perfect in heavy metal, boom, you will find a lot of, uh, so it's not only about the explanation and the book and everything, but also um what do you call it uh real english authentic do you remember the difference between authentic and instructional do you remember authentic yes no oh, really no. no 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 i don't authentic is when a person is using english in a very natural way movies music conference tutorials, whatever, newspapers, magazines, that is authentic. Yes, Instructional yes. is when you're using a book to learn English. So authentic was made for native speakers, not Geo, CNN, History Channel. Instructional is like top-notch passages, interchange and all that. So let me send you the, the link. Please watch the video. It's like four minutes. And here we go. Watch the video, please. I don't want to talk.
strike. All right. Did I, you I have problem with my internet. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Okay, did you identify any of the songs? People? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Did you get sentimental? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Did you With see Freddie Mercury? Did you see Freddie Mercury? Yes. What's the name yes. of that song? Yes, I, I saw the... I Maybe. want to break free, right. He says, God knows. What does God know? God knows I've fallen in love. I've, I've fallen in love. How do you say that part in Spanish? Estoy enamorado. Sí. Me he enamorado. Me he enamorado. Yeah. So today, when you finish the class, Go look for your husband, your wife, and tell them how much you love them. Okay. Do it. <laughs> okay. You say, you know, I got inspired in my English class. We watched the video, and I want to tell you how much I love you. So do that. Right. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Any questions or comments about the present perfect? No. What's the difference between, uh, between for and since? When do we use for? When do we use since? Desde. Okay, since means desde. And what does since indicate? A specific time. A specific time. At a specific time of what? Of a month, of a year. Okay, and a specific time of when the action began. Yeah. Right? So, like if I say, I've been in Lourdes since 2013. I've been in Lourdes since 2013. How many years have I been here? Eight years. I've been eight. How many years? Eight years. Uh -huh. eight years. I've been here for eight years. Yeah. So if you analyze, if you compare the year 2013 with eight years, the message is exactly the same. Yes. There is no difference. The difference is you use things to indicate when the action began and you use four to indicate how much time the action has been there. So at the end, the two, they express the same information, but um, they, they work differently. Questions or comments? No. Do you mention, when you're using the present perfect, do you mention when the action happened? When? When you use the present perfect, do you mention when the action happened? No, you don't. You only share the information, but you don't mention when. So I have been in Guatemala two times. Oh, that's nice. What part did you visit? Oh, I went to Antigua and I went to the capital. Did I mention when? No. If you want to mention when, then you have to use the simple past tense. Questions? Teacher. Yes, Sylvia. I say, I been, <clears throat> I been drink, drink for the last two hours. It's okay. not good, it's worse, it's no. bad. No, uh, in that case, when you said, I've been drinking for the last two hours, that is present perfect continuous. Mm -hmm. 
So your sentence is good, but it's a different tense. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now with the present perfect continuous, you start in the past and you will always be doing the action when you're speaking. I have been living in Lourdes for eight years. I have been teaching since 1996 and I continue teaching. So it's, um, the action is always active, still on. Okay. Questions? How much time have you been working in your company? I've been working uh, 20 years. For 20 years. For 20 years. I've been working for 20 years. So if we start making numbers, okay, 20 years, 2001. Oh, since 2001, right? Yes. The two sentences are good. So she says, I've been working for 20 years or I've been working since 2001. Same thing. Right. The same. 20 years is a long time. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else wants to share how much time you have been in the in your company? Mm -hmm. I have been working uh, in the Ministry of Finance mm -hmm. since not for eight years. Okay. Now, how can you share that information using things, Flor? Uh, uh, but I don't remember the, the, the year. year. You said uh, six years or eight years? Eight years. Eight years. So let's say 2014, 2000, maybe? 13. 13. Yeah, 13. 2013. Oh, okay, so you said I've been working since 2013. 13. All right, yeah. good. Questions or comments? How do you say criar hijos in English? Raise child. Raise. Raise children. Raise children. Yeah, raise children, right? Can you write it, please? Sure. Raise. Raise children. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh. So I've been raising children for 27 years. And I continue raising my two last ones. Yeah. Solo me quedan 14 años. The last one is four years old. Anyway, 14 years is a long time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, any comments about the present perfect, take notes, uh, write it down, and ask me tomorrow when we return to class. So, okay. thank you very much for dedicating an extra hour to improve your English. Have a good night. 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 Good